all right welcome back everyone in this video we're gonna move forward our discussion of sizing flow reactors and by flow reactors uh, just to let you guys know flow reactors when i say flow reactors i'm talking about the cstrs and plug flow reactors or packed bed reactors okay the ideal case scenarios of my reactors CSTRs and PFRs or backbed reactors okay so before we start discussing Levenspiel plots I would like to mention I would like to pay homage to one of the greatest chemical engineering professors that has ever lived Dr. Octave Levenspiel okay and if you guys thought Dr. Fogler was a big name in uh, reaction engineering, I suggest you guys read up on this great man. This great man. I'll link in the description and I highly encourage you guys to, to witness what a great professor really is. One of the greatest teachers that I never had. Alright? Anyway, let's uh, move forward. Before we look at the plots, before we look at the Levenspiel plots, a quick review of our design equations. For my CSTR on the left hand side, for my CSTR on the left hand side, I have an algebraic equation. Okay, and this is a multiplication. If I want to size my reactor using conversion, if I want to size my reactor using conversion, in the case of CSTR, you can see that it's a multiplication. It's a multiplication of the conversion with this negative inlet flow rate divided by the rate law. So it's a multiplication of the, blue, the pink term. I'm just going to call it term 1. It's a multiplication of two terms. Uh, okay. Just to color code that for you guys and all right so it's a multiplication of two terms whereas on the uh, if we're talking about the plug flow reactor on the uh, other side on the right side it's an integration we're performing an integration of this expression so you need negative oops there's supposed to be an, a sub zero here sorry so you're supposed to know this as a, if you know this as a function of conversion, you will have no problem integrating it. Whether you want to do it analytically or numerically, that's going to be up to you. In most uh, practical examples, you're going to be doing, doing it numerically. So, okay, here we have multiplication. On the, on the left side, we have multiplication. Multiplication of two terms, right? Multiplication of the conversion and the... Uh, the inlet flow rate divided by rate law whereas on the uh, right side we have integration multiplication versus integration okay now let's see what if i what if i were to tell you that what if i started plotting now what if i started plotting plotting um the conversion on the horizontal axis if i had conversion on horizontal axis and the other term the inlet flow rate divided by the rate expression on the vertical axis how is that how is that plot going to look like well all right let's uh zoom out a little let me show you so here i have my vertical axis on the horizontal axis i'm going to have my conversion x is going to be my conversion and on the vertical axis i'm going to have negative inlet flow rate of a divided by the rate expression all right and suppose i'm able to gather gather this data i'm going to look something like this and i draw a smooth curve i draw a smooth curve whether using pen and pencil or using excel or some plotting tool now all right let's say i pick a conversion let's say my desired conversion is x sub x desired that's my desired conversion and let's see where it intersects where this intersects my smooth curve 
Aha. Uh -huh. As you can see here, I'm gonna call this, let's call this expression. Give me one second. I'm gonna move this upwards here. And this shall be my at x desired all right this is going to be my the the value of my dependent variable at my desired conversion and now obviously my inlet flow rate is going to is not going to be changing the only thing that's going to vary is my rate expression the value of that at my desired converse, uh, conversion i hope you see that now if i were to find the uh, area if I were to calculate this area, this area in yellow, this area is going to be the multiplication of two terms on the length and the base. So the length is going to be negative FA0 divided by RA evaluated at x desired, evaluated at x desired. Okay, and that's going to be multiplied by my desired conversion. All right, the other term is my x desired and I hope you guys can see this I hope you guys can see that this is just equivalent to the volume of CSTR this is just equivalent to the volume of CSTR so if you pick any if you pick any desired conversion let's say I pick x sub 0 let's say I pick x sub 0 here if I know the value of my dependent variable if I know the value of my dependent variable, then it's just a multiplication of these two terms. And that would be the area as shown here. All right, that the area of the rectangle, the area of the rectangle represents the air, the volume of CSTRs, the area of rectangle. All right, so this is how you're gonna use Levenspiel plots for a CSTR. What about a, all right, now let's draw this again. But this time we're gonna try to solve it, try to evaluate the volume for a plug flow reactor. Okay, all right. Um, all right, so once again, I'm gonna have my smooth curve. I'm gonna have something like this. This is gonna be my smooth curve. And, not to forget X, and let's say I pick another value of X desired. And, if I remember the design equation for my PFR, the design equation for my plug flow reactor was an integration, was an integral from zero to the desired conversion of FA sub zero divided by the rate expression. And the rate expression itself is a function of, the rate expression is a function of conversion. So if I were to find this area, if I were to calculate this area, this area under the curve, this area under the curve is going to be equal to the area under the curve is going to be equal to this integral expression this integral expression I hope you guys can see that and I'm sh sure some of you guys have already seen it aha look at that look at that this right here is my volume of plug flow reactor so I hope this is all making sense. We're going to do some examples later. But the area under the curve is the volume for PFRs, whereas the area of the rectangle, as shown above here, is the volume of CSTR. So just to summarize it, just to summarize it, I'm going to list here. For volume of CSTR compared to volume of plug flow reactor. Volume of CSTR is the area of rectangle. The area of rectangle. Okay. Which means it's just a multiplication of multiplication of your desired conversion. And the your vertical ordinate evaluated at that expression. Evaluated at that desired conversion. Okay. So this is just an area of a rectangle. Whereas on the other side, this is gonna be area under the curve, area under the curve, okay? Uh, I don't know how to write today, so I, my apologies for that. And this is gonna be equal to the integral of F A zero 
divided by R A and R A, the rate expression is going to be a function of conversion. All right, and right now we haven't talked about how to plot, how to uh, come up with these plots. Right now we're just analyzing these plots. So in the upcoming videos, we're going to be solving, we're going to be sizing some CSTRs and PFRs using Levenspiel plots. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. And oops, don't forget the limits on your integral. And yeah, thank you very much, guys.